They call me Silver Pink. My family is critically endangered. I am one of only a few who still live in the world. In total, there are around a hundred of us. We are the mangrove finches. I was part of a group of nestlings that grew up in captivity. I was collected in 2016 when I was still just in my eggshell and was taken to a completely controlled environment at a research station. I grew up cared for by people dedicated solely to my survival. I had no idea just how important my life was. Three months later, I returned to this mangrove forest, to my home. Our grandparents say that many years ago we lived in several mangrove forests on Isabella and Fernandina Islands. But due to the impact of invasive species, we now only live in a 30 hectare patch of mangroves on Isabella. In the mangroves, I understood the reason why I grew up protected in captivity and the reason why scientists come year after year to our home to monitor all that we do. As chicks, we are extremely vulnerable in the mangroves. My grandparents told me about a constant and ruthless threat that has killed several of our nestlings, the Forlornis downsy fly. They say that when this fly arrived to the mangroves, our existence became endangered. The larva of Forlornis downsy parasitize our chicks while they still remain in the nest. They also told me about the introduced rats that prey on our nests. Now I'm three years old. I am one of only 20 breeding females that live in these mangroves. I have dedicated my life to protecting my nestlings. This year, I met Purple Brown. He is 10 years old and has always maintained the same nesting territory. So together, we built a nest in the top of a black mangrove. We had three nestlings. They were all infected by the larva of Forlornis downsy. It was terrifying. The same researchers who raised me took out all the larva that infected them. They also placed a liquid at the base of our nest to reduce the number of parasitic flies that infested our house. fledglings have just fled the nest. The first one to leave was green purple, who I feed, while brown blue and orange gold are being fed by their father. We dedicate our lives to them so that they never go hungry. Soon they will be able to fly through the mangroves and have offspring of their own. Fear still invades us. We know that we are not capable of dealing with these threats by ourselves. We need help. We haven't lost our faith. We trust that our family will continue to grow. After all, the greatest gift a mother can get is to see her children and grandchildren fly peacefully through our mangroves.